Hi, I'm Holly Mannion from Willis Allen Real Estate in Rancho Santa Fe, California. So what are, what are five reasons your luxury home hasn't sold? The first one is that your price is too high. The number one reason a house hasn't sold is because the price is too high for the market. If your home has been on the market for a long time and many qualified buyers have viewed it, the market has spoken. You are overpriced. It doesn't matter how much you paid for the home or how much you put into the home, the market is the market. You could be missing a great buyer just because you're overpriced. Many times we, are, we see homes selling under their value because they got stale from being on the market too long. Sellers are chasing the market down with little increment drops in their asking price until finally they capture a sale way below the supporting comparables. Best advice is to come on the market at a compelling price, ready, willing, and able to sell immediately. The same goes for those homes that are architecturally unique. They might be the perfect home for you, but chances are it, for you to find a buyer that loves a home the same style and individual features that you do are rare. Whether it is a 9,000 square foot, two foot, I mean two bedroom home, or contemporary mansion with multiple levels and lots of steps, you must price the house at a point that others are willing to consider it. Price it to sell, not just to show. The second reason is exposure. Your home isn't getting the right exposure. Does your home have good, inter have good internet presence? Is it on Realtor.com, Trillia, Zillow and other real estate search engine sites? Does it have its own website? Over 90% of home shoppers look online sometime during their home searching process. The internet presence is more important than any other form of marketing, including magazine ads, newspaper ads, mailers, and flyers. The details are important too. How do your pictures look? Were they taken by a professional photographer with a great eye for architecture? If the pictures aren't clear and well designed, they just might turn someone off from seeing your home. Be selective in what you choose to represent your home. And by the way, have you looked at your write-up? How does it read? The write-up must be simple and clear and point out the benefits to living in your home. The words you choose to describe your home are so important. Is your agent using YouTube video, virtual tours, Facebook, social media? Are they holding open houses? If not, why not? Maybe they should look into this. The third <clears throat> is flexibility. How flexible are you? Is your home easy to show? You should make your home available to agents and prospects to view every day of the week. That means keeping your home in tip top shape. You never know when you could be getting that call to show your home at a moment's notice from that perfect buyer with cash in hand. There are other homes on the market these buyers could be looking at, not just yours. Many times they will not wait around to see one that is difficult to show. Remember, a missed showing is a missed opportunity. And four, the condition of your home. Is it a turnoff? Most buyers today are looking for a home that need little to no work. They do not have time to fix up a home. They just want to close escrow and move in. They would prefer spending the weekend relaxing instead of renovating. So before you place your home on the market, give it that fresh coat of paint, replace the carpets, fix up the landscaping, fix leaky roofs. I'm not saying to redo your kitchen or bathroom. I'm just saying clean it up. Wash the windows, get rid of pet odors, get rid of your junk, move out excess furniture, and box up knickknacks and collections. Your home should look spacious. Buyers need to imagine their life in your home. They cannot possibly have the vision if you have clutter everywhere. You also might consider hiring a stager to help you get your home in ready to sell condition. And the fifth reason your agent. Do you have the right agent? Your real estate agent must be proactive in today's market. Be beware of part-time agents. 
Beware of agents who have just too many listings to give yours the personal time and attention it, it needs. Make sure when you list your home, you find your agent, it isn't an agent that's just going to put it on the market, throw it in the MLS, put a lockbox on it, and hope another agent sells. Your agent should design the right script to show your home. In some instances, your agent should meet the buyers and their agents to tour the home, answer questions, and overcome objections. Your agent must believe in the features and price of your home. They must be able to show the buyers their benefits. They are representing you, your property, and your listing price. So thank you for joining me today for the five reasons your home hasn't sold. If you are looking to list with a realtor who knows how best to market your home, give us a call. We are T. Mannion and we have been selling luxury real estate in North San Diego County for over 35 years. If you would like a PDF of this video, go to www.RanchoSantaFeRealty.com. And thank you.